not let me vlogging outside. Look at this. And it's like five something p.m. I'm so excited. Finally got our sink switched out to black. Our cabinets that have their shelving and the lights in there, as well as up top. I love our backsplash. It's just so like warm and inviting and neutral. Even all the lights in here, I feel like it's still warm. It's not cold, you know? Bacon, look at the stove. Look at this mirror. Huge, I love it. Get ready with me. Where the barn door is. The light in here is insane. Glass, I'm gonna put it in. Get ready with me. Oh wow, this is spacious. You guys, the day is here. It's time to go to the closing of the house. And I can't believe it's already here. And I'm so excited like to be a homeowner today. I need to get there. I'm just like trying to sit in this feeling right now. We've got a long day ahead because I have all the appointments at the other house trying to get everything set up, but we're closing today. Ari and I went to go get some brunch at First Watch, but then we just came by. But look at my very first housewarming present. It's from Ari. It's an entire toolkit. And you guys know I love to build things, okay? Our pink as well. How beautiful is that? My voice is gone right now. There's a man here doing the Wi-Fi. Still have to deliver my fridge. I guess I'm gonna just start slowly getting some big things over here. I do wanna put my rugs down and do a nice little deep clean over here. And thankfully we can do this kind of slowly. There's no crazy rush, but I can actually focus on getting things in here. And it's so echoey right now because there's no furniture at all. Excited, I need to check and see what orders are supposed to be getting delivered here. just so I can kind of be here for deliveries and be prepared for whatever they might need me for. But we did get our dining table yesterday. I had my chairs that we had at the other house I brought over. And now I have more boxes. I feel like I really need to wait and let things sit here before I make a final decision on it if I love or hate something. Okay. Obviously, she needs to be sat in and she needs to just decompress a little bit, but I love her. I wanted a couple of fabric chairs, super clean and crisp like this, and I think that they're super cutie. What's funny is yesterday they delivered the table, which was fantastic, thank goodness, but I had already put a rug down. I put the wrong rug under the table. It took two men to put the table together, okay? I had to come over here and once I realized that I put the wrong rug down, I'm over here moving the table, took up the rug, put the new rug down, the proper one, and then moved the table myself. I said, listen, even with my limp and my little, my knee issue right now, I was like, I'm gonna make it work. I have so much recycling and I just keep pushing it around. This is the media room. That's where we will consume media. We made sure it was super dark in there, like a little movie theater. And I love, love, love our barn door that is out here on there. And then I have dropped off a bunch of like bathroom products and whatnot just because I didn't need them at the other house. I'm sure you guys remember many, many times that I walked through here while they were still building everything. And now it's done, which is crazy, but I literally have just organized all kinds of my products in here. The tub is insane. One thing that I will say, like, I love my house. This is my house. It's, it's ours, it's our home. I would say the thing that was the least of our concerns would have to have been the bathroom. I'm not rushing to do it, but I would love to change out like all the gray tile, cause y'all know I need warmth. I, I need warmth for all that, okay? But I do love her. I have bed frames, I think that are getting delivered today. The guest bedrooms, as well as our new bed frame. I was here super late last night working on my computer. It feels like it's an office space or something and I just drive home. But I heard the sprinklers go off at like midnight. And I was like, what's going on? I was so scared. I thought like a pipe burst or something. Over here is a Alani drawer, okay? She's looking incredible. I just have a bunch of Alanis in here. If I need one, I can just whip one out. All right, we've got the keys. It's ours now. I feel like because it wasn't like 
move out, moving day, move in day, all in the same day. It feels different than a typical move for us, but I'm actually very thankful because if I had to have my entire house packed up on the 28th, which was closing day, I don't know what I would have done. I get to be in my new house and I get to, you know, soak it in and get to really cherish every single step. I have a credenza coming, a rug for the living room coming. We have a couch that I need to order, actually click order on. You guys saw my TikTok. I literally strutted down the entire kitchen island. It's so long. I love it and it's perfect. Great for when we're hosting people. I'm literally so excited, you guys. Everybody come over. Reggie will cook for all of us. It'll be the best meal you've ever had in your life. We actually currently already do have a soft frame bed. If you guys have seen our bed, it's literally just like the pillow surrounding our bed and it's like a RH dupe honestly, but it is incredible and it's held up so well. I've had mine for three, over three years now and I absolutely love it. So I decided to get another one, but I got it in a different color. And then I also got one for the guest bedroom. I got that one in like the curved headboard shape and I got that in the same color that our current one is in. We're gonna have to do a mass exodus of boxes and recycling. I'm so obsessed with these chairs. It makes me almost want to get rid of them. I love these, but it almost makes me want to get rid of like the hardwood ones that I just bought and get like four more of these for like a formal dining room. But I don't know. I have to like sit on it and think. It's still so echoey in here, but good morning, you guys. There's deliveries. I just put my YouTube video from Lift Miami up. I do have my bar stools, which I'm actually so excited for. I got them from Castlery, I believe. Oh my gosh. Truly going to have so much recycling. Let's get one of these at least. Okay, you guys, I went home, JJ and I went to the store, took a little break, just finished the little bar stools, counter stools, and I love them. I also did bring some snacks and I got some to bring to this house while I'm here. So, are they not gorgeous? I love them. I have all of that and all of that. Please ignore. These from Castlery, I will link them below in all my like to note for you guys. But the black, just because obviously it matches everything else that we have going on and wicker moment and a comfy little seat. And they actually are super, super sturdy. This is all wood back here, but this is a little metal bar to stabilize it and everything. I think that it just matches so well. I can't wait for us to have more stuff in here. So things are not as echoey, but we're making progress slowly but surely good morning i have already gone to the gym and everything today i did take this new pre-workout which i haven't taken pre-workout in literal months if not a year so alani came out with 300 milligrams of caffeine in this pre-workout this one is the frozen lemonade flavor it was so good i taste tested it a couple days ago but i actually used a full scoop today and I was bouncing off the walls. Delicious, so that's out now. But let's talk about another new release that Alani has. That is their brand new orange flavor. And as you know, I did my collab with Alani and I came out with Sherbert Swirl, okay? Which I refuse to use all of these because I don't want it to be gone. So this is my flavor in my collab with Alani. Miss Wit did the photo shoot and is bringing back Orange Kiss. So they're siblings. Give it a try because we also have an energy drink of it, which is great. Ooh, okay, yeah. She's tangy. It's like straight orange. This is very much mimosa vibe. Okay, she's yummy. I'll say mine is definitely like, it's got that creamy like vanilla to it. All right, let's try this energy drink. Not that I need more, but. Oh yeah, ultra citrusy but not like sour citrus, like mm, tart citrus. Very much orange mimosa vibe. If you want straight orange, this is where it's at. My office rug just came, my desk came a few days ago and I've just been working here literally every single day. I just took everything off the desk. Now I'm gonna put the rug down and figure out where I actually wanna place it. I'm along this desk, I'm obsessed with her. She's from Four Hands and it's amazing. Today I had the smart home automation guy come. 
So now everything is like connected to my phone, which is awesome. So I had to finally invest in a Dyson. I waited years and I waited until I had a house because I was like, eh, it's okay. I can get by with everything else, like a Tenneco and a Shark. And I also decided to go big or go home and I got a Roomba with the vacuum and mopping one. So he's gonna put that to use. First, I have to move this heavy ass desk though. I don't know where. Maybe I should put the rug down first. Oh my God, Libby. Do I do it sideways? I should have, I don't know. Um, oh my God. Okay, I'm hot. I need to turn the AC on. Oh, look at that. There's lines in the carpet. I don't know what to do. I'll probably end up moving it again, actually. I think I will, but I have to get work done. Good morning. The queen of checking in when I remember that I have a vlog camera and I'm literally vlogging. It's just we're hopping and bopping around today, okay? I'm about to make some breakfast. I just got dressed for the gym I'm wearing the Adapt Fleck in this burnt orange color and it's so freaking cute. My tan lines from the safari outfit in Miami are cracking me up, but it makes me feel like summer's on its way and I can't wait. This morning I actually had to get a new dishwasher installed because I didn't like that a couple of letters were smudged off of the one that they installed first. Maybe dramatic, maybe dramatic, but when you're buying a house, I expect it to be exactly what I'm paying for, which is no letters being smudged off of my dishwasher. Breakfast, I'm just gonna have a couple of eggs. <laughs> talk to you guys since coming back from Miami. Miami was crazy and I feel like it's been literally two weeks since then. It was just so chaotic because we haven't officially moved in yet. I'm essentially using this house as a home office. I moved my office over here so quickly. So I sleep at my other house um, and we aren't moving out of there until the end of the month. So I've just been here. I have to be here every single day to get deliveries and to sign for things and for installations and all of that good stuff. So that's why I spend so much time here. That's why you guys are seeing me here already, but we haven't officially moved in yet. So we don't have our bed here. I have my love set, but the guest bed, the bed, all that's still at the other house. But I am wanting to do like a full closet redo before we even move in. And I wanna do floor to ceiling shelving because the one strip of shelves to hang things on is not gonna cut it. It's also like just my time to finally decompress because it's been so chaotic these past couple of weeks. I will say that I think Miami has been my favorite lift event yet. Something about the energy was just so insane and so fun. I just, I wish I could relive those days over and over and over again. It also was really nice because thankfully I had Izzy. I've never had anybody edit for me one or two film for me like an event or anything like that. That took off so much pressure from me where I could just be so present and not have to worry about anything other than enjoying the moments. And so I'm very thankful because because the video that Izzy did was so good. Now, I'm gonna get ready to go to the gym. My knee is still messed up, you guys. I don't know if I did, I don't know what I did wrong. There's definitely something wrong with it. I got in over my head, to be honest. But you know what, I'm very competitive. Usually, I've never been injured, okay? The knee is healing outside very, very well. Inside is where I'm a little bit concerned because it's a bit wobbly. So I'm just trying to rehab it myself and take it easy. I can do like hinge motions and I can walk, but I can't run. Like it doesn't retaliate and reset properly. So there's something in there that's like messed up. I'm hoping that just using it can help, but. I just dry scooped. Oh my gosh, I haven't dry scooped in probably about a year and Alani came out with 300 milligrams of pre-workout. I said, I'm just gonna take this to the dome. So this is the cherry slush flavor, which I love the energy drink of. Also have a frozen lemonade, which is delicioso. And I think rocket pop as well. In the 300 milligrams, you can get them at GNC, you can get them online code Libby always, but this has me tingling. My, my nerves are firing like crazy, but I got my roommate and I'm ready to go. I want to hit a really good workout today. I don't know what I'm going to do though. Okay. Cause I have to be a little careful with my knee, but we're still going to full send it. All right. I'll update you on my scars. This is what I've come out of Miami with. And then the one on my knee. This one is doing well, I would say like I do. It does look like two little bullet holes. So that'll be my new story that I'll tell. I just got back home and there's a package from Gymshark over at the other house for me. Is this Anna's collection? I'll scream. Hello? Is this Miss Anna Archer's? It is! Anna! 
this is still available here in the US. I'm so proud. I love everybody's signature series. <laughs> So cute. Dream big, be confident, trust your gut, grind hard, act with integrity, judge less, have fun, make connections, smile more, and reminder, life is a game, go play. Anna Archer, wait, Anna, thanks for sending this to me. Cute. Okay, so that is her hoodie. We have the sweat sports bra, which is one of my favorites because this is the same silhouette as the V-neck training bra. Absolutely love. There's a butterfly on the back, and you know, I love a little butterfly. I love a little butterfly. Look how cute this is. Oh my gosh. And then she did the legacy short. Cute. I love this little purple color. And look, there's a butterfly on the back that says her name. I think this is my tattoo. Wait, this is my tattoo. Dead ass. Slay. Oh my gosh. But then we have some goodies in here. So there's a journal for notes, a little pen. There's some jewelry, a water bottle. Oh, I get a one year subscription. Slay the house down. <gasps> She's so cutie patootie. Oh my gosh, good morning you guys. So I got up just a little bit ago, came and showered. Now I'm gonna get ready to head to the gym. Listen, I have to say, while my routine right now is very wild and kind of sporadically all over the place, I feel like I'm still maintaining my self care, which I'm happy about. I have about four bottles of the Necessaire body wash. This is the eucalyptus. It's incredible. I literally love it so much. The Ose body oil is incredible. Now I'm not sleeping and I haven't changed up on my L'Occitane because as you know, I still love my L'Occitane, but I have loved this scent. It just feels so fresh and clean. And then I add the algae body butter. This stuff, if you have eczema, if you have dry skin, the duo together, oh my gosh, my skin has not felt more hydrated and I'm obsessed with it. But it's literally such a thick body butter and I feel like going on top of the body oil is incredible. Please give it a try. It is a little pricey, I think, but it is more than worth it to try out, especially if you have dry skin. It does have like a light fragrance to it. So if you want fragrance free, I think that they have fragrance free actually. Obsessed with this oil. This whole moving chronicle is crazy, you guys. I'm also gonna do a hair mask today with a slick back bun. This, you guys know, is my tried and true. It's the Weed Ad Triple Threat. It's so thick and it smells amazing and it's so hydrating for your hair. Oh my gosh, can't say enough good things. The health of my hair is top tier right now. I have minimal shedding, thankfully. And then I feel like she is growing. I mean, our hair is always growing. It's not like dead where it's breaking off type of thing. I think I have to think Nutrafol for that because I've been taking Nutrafol for a couple months. And when I tell you, I think that thing is the truth. I'm shook at the health of my hair. This is not sponsored. I literally worked with them months ago and I think that they are that girl. This is not a middle part. Okay, wait, I don't think it is. It's fine. We're gonna act like it is. So when I got to the top of my head, I used to just start twisting, but I do think it's easier to get my slick back bun good and down. When I put it in a ponytail first, I start twisting like so, like that. And then the ponytail. I usually get a smaller one than this, but it'll slay. Mega mind, mega mind. Skincare. Okay, I've been loving a bunch of different products lately, and I'm gonna lie, I usually don't change things up that often, but this image skincare, it is incredible. Clean Skin Club. That's actually the little box that I use for travel. Best facial towels, and then you can literally just clean up your area because I know we do be splashing water when we wash our face and everything. And then I go in with a bunch of different toners because I like the Korean skincare method. This is the Anua Heart Leaf Toner. I'm literally almost out of her. Gotta get some more. I also really like the Paula's Choice BHA, but I use that usually at night. You guys, I swear, I beat the hyperpigmentation and then I get one little spot that's not even a real pimple and it comes back like no tomorrow. I'm from Rice Toner. It's like a little toner milk. You press that in. Oh my gosh, you guys, I went to a CoverGirl event this week. That was crazy. I'm like, I got invited to an event and not even just an event, a beauty event. Crazy. It was beautiful. It was so cute. I love the Dark Spot Correcting Serum from Good Molecules, but this Peach and Lily Glass Skin Serum, OMG, it's so good. The Clarins Double Serum. I don't know how I got onto the Clarins PR list, but I'm totally okay with it. I'm telling you, Image Skincare, that's where it's at. This is their Vital C. I'm obsessed. You know when products just feel good on your skin, like they just glide over and you can tell that they're being absorbed, like I'll be so glowy today. And that's the goal because I don't wear makeup, so that's why I try to take care of my little skin. We're almost done with the get ready. You've almost gotten ready with me, guys. I look like a little rat with no mascara and my eyebrows all put together. But I do love this Tarte TV mascara. I know they came out with another one. Slay? To slay or not to slay? 
say. I hope I slayed. Now, today's gym fit is the new, I think it's like the strappy, strappy something, but it's the same as the v-neck. They just added these straps on the outside. And then I have my men's mesh shorts on, 90-60s. I'm going to get my greens in. You guys, you guys, no way. Look at this. What is going on? Oh my gosh, there's literally capsules all over the floor. This must have broken somehow. Good thing that I kept my other empty can of this. So I finished this one. I guess we're just gonna add them in here. I'm scared about glass though. What happened to her? Look at this. Help this girl. Oh wow. I feel like that's enough drama for me. I don't even know how this happened. Anyway, I told y'all, Nutrafol is that girl though. You take four pills a day. So just keep growing. So I love the Mary Roots gummies, but they didn't have the gummies at the store. So I just got the liquid morning multivitamin. I want to wrap up this vlog here so I can get you guys a new one ASAP Rocky. Thank you for hanging out with me while we start getting into this house. This was just like the first week or so post Miami and starting to get things moved in here. Definitely more moving content coming soon. There's so much to do here. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna be ordering all kinds of stuff tonight. If you guys enjoyed this video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up so I know that you did. Also, make sure that you guys subscribe so you don't miss a video with me and you guys can keep up with me every single day on Instagram and TikTok at Libby Christensen and I will talk to you guys later. Thank you.